here in Montana Days where you do backed up traffic. We've been here for like 30 minutes, man. This crap is so annoying. We don't know what's going on. Hopefully someone didn't get eaten or anything. Maybe it's road work, we don't know. Um, I don't know. I just hope nothing happens. And I hope we can get moving in a second because there's just a lot of cars. And I don't know what's going on. But yeah, hope you guys are having a great day, dude. Sunny, it was raining earlier, but now it's getting sunnier. We're gonna head down to the Tetons after this and then rip it to Jackson as always. Day three, second traffic. Ah, something always happens. It's this is life, dude. It just comes up and puts its finger in your ass and fucks you, dude. Crap. <laughs> Oh my god, we just got this insane waterfall, dude. I'm trying to like get on this little rock right here, dude. And not slip and die. Oh crap, bro. Woo! That's gnarly. Yeah, I'll say this again, but like, you gotta come here in person. You can't really do this. You just have to just don't work on a camera. You gotta come here. Look at this. This looks insane. Oh my god. $220 for a night and the room is about the size of this uh, parking spot right there. It's really small It's got like barely a queen bed and AC and like the floor radius is like probably the size about this car This is about how much crap you can fit into it. So it's gonna be a little tight, but we got it for free So eh, here we go. We're in Jackson, Wyoming right now, dude We're gonna go get a bite to eat right now. I'm not wearing a polo. It looks so fancy. I hate looking fancy, but here we are. Let's go get a bite to eat, dude. I want a burger so bad. I just want to like indulge in it. And it's been a wrong day. It's you should get a buffalo burger if they have it. Buffalo bison burger. Bison burger they're for like smokier and they're way better. Freaking $300. Yeah. Maybe we will. Yeah. But um, it's 8 <laughs> it's 8.30. I'm dying. So we're going to go eat, dude. Let's see it. Dude, I cannot wait to just dive into this. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. All right. So it's like 9 in the morning, dude. And they don't have an area where I can eat eggs. So I had to go to Drastic Measures. I'm gonna have to dump liquid eggs into my coffee and then drink it. So I'm not looking too forward to it. I don't think it's gonna taste that bad, but yeah, I just, the only way I gotta do it. So here we go, dude, it's gonna be a little bit rough. Here we go, liquid eggs. Oh, ew, oh my God, why am I doing this? Oh, now to just slug it. It got really cold. Eating you. Oh man. 
man, that's really bad. Oh man, that's really bad. Coffee kind of like knocks with the flavor of it. Dude, that's gross. I don't want to do that anymore. Well, I'm gonna finish that. My stomach's gonna hurt. I'm gonna have peanut butter instead. All right, dude. So today, but we are heading out to Colorado. It's gonna be sick, and I'm gonna go to Red Rocks around the east side of it, and then stay with my buddy in Colorado Springs. And tomorrow night, we're going up to Fort Collins area, maybe Estes Park, and staying with his friend. But he's sleeping. And yeah, that's it, dude. Hype, hype, hype. Yeah, we're broken down. What else would happen with me, man? I always have problems with cars, but guess what, dude? That doesn't make us. You know, not enjoy the trip. We might have to cancel Colorado. We're just gonna head back to Montana now. Um, if we can get this fixed, which hopefully we can. Fingers crossed for us, boys. Um, yeah, I don't know. We're in the middle of nowhere. The population is 313 people. Hopefully one of them knows how to fix a tire that does not roll, because I've never seen anything like it when I've done any repair on my car. So we will see. Um, it's a little hot right now, but we're just chilling out. We got a little bit of food for a few more days and stuff. So, you know what? Stuff happens, but we're gonna get through it, dude. So, you guys are having a great day, dude. I'll catch you guys on the flip side and I'll let you know what happens. Let's go. All right, dude. So, your mechanic of a dude just figured out what was wrong. Basically, we got the brakes down about two days ago. So, you see all these bolts right here. The caliber has four, one, two, three, four. I know this because I do my brakes. This side, one of the bolts fell out. So, as we were going through Yellowstone, it started to make noise. One of this bolt came out right there, and the dude obviously took out the other one to go make it the size and figure it out. Dude, so we basically just got to this dude's house. He owns a junkyard. Look at this. Guys, this is crazy. He owns a junkyard, so I'm out here exploring them. We're looking for a 10 millimeter bolt that takes the brakes. This is crazy. Some shock we got going on here, dudes. Uh, I'll let you guys know when we find it. Hopefully, we get back on the road, and uh, we'll see. This is just nuts, though. He owns all this land, like, out there. It's got horses, cars. Culture shock, dude.